Have you ever pondered how a country can perfectly balance the weight of deep-rooted tradition with the relentless pursuit of innovation? Welcome to Japan, a remarkable blend of the old and the new, the ancient and the ultra-modern. A place where tradition and innovation don't just coexist, they thrive together. Going back in time, Japan's story begins over a thousand years ago. The Jomon period, the first known era of Japanese history, saw the origins of pottery and agriculture. Artifacts from this era still exist today, a testament to the Japanese commitment to preserving their heritage. Fast forward to the Heian period, an age of elegant court life and refined culture. This era gave birth to classic Japanese art forms like ikebana, the art of flower arrangement, and the tea ceremony, practices that are still very much alive today. Transitioning to the Edo period it was an age of peace and stability. Here the samurai culture flourished and the kabuki theater was born. Today these traditions are not just remnants of the past but living aspects of Japanese culture, proudly maintained and still practiced. Now imagine a leap in time to the Meiji era when Japan opened its doors to the West, it was a period of rapid modernization and industrialization. The country embraced Western technology and ideas while preserving its own unique culture and traditions, this was the real start of Japan's unique blend of tradition and innovation. In the 20th century Japan emerged as a global powerhouse in technology and innovation. The country gave the world brands that would become household names, think Sony, Toyota, and Nintendo. Yet, amidst this technological revolution, Japan's traditions remained strong, creating a harmonious blend of the old and the new. Today in the 21st century, Japan stands as a beacon of technological advancement. Robots serve in hotels, bullet trains zip across the country, and artificial intelligence is part of everyday life. Yet walk down any street in Tokyo or Kyoto, and you'll find shrines hundreds of years old, festivals that date back centuries and people who proudly carry on the customs of their ancestors. In conclusion, Japan is an enigmatic mix of tradition and innovation. It is a country that honors its past while boldly stepping into the future. From the ancient art of tea ceremonies to the cutting-edge technology seen in its robotics industry, Japan has successfully managed to marry its rich history with modern advancements. This blend, this harmonious coexistence, is what makes Japan truly unique. It's a testament to their ability to respect tradition while embracing change. A lesson the world could definitely learn from. Have you ever wondered why Japan is often referred to as the land of the rising sun? Today we unravel the layers of this poetic moniker and explore its profound significance to Japan and its cultural identity. The land of the rising sun, a name as lyrical as the country it represents, is steeped in tradition, history and mythology. The term derives from Japan's eastern position relative to the Asian continent but it's more than just a geographical reference. It's a symbol, a narrative, a cultural touchstone that has shaped the Japanese ethos since time immemorial. In the ancient chronicles of Japan, the sun has always played a leading role. The country's creation myth centers around the sun goddess, Amaterasu, who was born from the left eye of the primordial being Izanagi. It was Amaterasu who gave birth to the imperial line, making the sun not just a celestial body, but an integral part of Japan's national identity. For centuries, the sun has been omnipresent in Japanese art, literature, and religion. It's in the crimson and gold of the Hainamaru, Japan's national flag, a simple yet powerful representation of the country's connection with the sun. It's in the reverence for nature, where the sun, the source of all life, is venerated in Shinto rituals and festivals. Fast forward to the modern era, the sun continues to be an enduring symbol of Japan's resilience and resurgence. After the devastation of World War II, Japan rose quite literally, like the sun from the ashes, transforming itself into one of the world's leading economies. The term, Land of the Rising Sun, also holds a spiritual connotation. Each sunrise, a new day, symbolizes renewal, hope, and the infinite possibilities of the future. It's a reminder to the Japanese people of their collective responsibility towards maintaining harmony and balance in their lives and society. The land of the rising sun is not just a poetic name for Japan. It's a reflection of the country's history, its deep-rooted spirituality, its reverence for nature, and its unwavering resilience. It's a testament to the country's ability to balance tradition with modernity and a symbol of its perpetual quest for harmony and progress.
In conclusion, the land of the rising sun is a poignant symbol of Japan's enduring cultural identity. From its origins in ancient mythology to its relevance in modern times, the sun has been a central figure in shaping Japan's history and identity. It serves as a reminder of the country's resilience, its reverence for nature, and its commitment to harmony and balance. Through the lens of the rising sun, we see a Japan that is as vibrant, dynamic, and forward-looking as it is steeped in tradition and spirituality. The sun in all its glory continues to rise, and so does Japan, the land of the rising sun. Have you ever wondered how the samurai, the military nobility of medieval and early modern Japan, lived their lives, and how their code of honor, known as Bushido, shaped the course of Japanese history? In the 12th century, the Kamakura shogunate marked the beginning of the samurai era. This period saw the samurai rise from mere warriors to influential figures, ruling over the land in a feudal system. Their code, Bushido, or the way of the warrior, was not just about martial prowess, it also emphasized virtues like honor, loyalty, and self-discipline. This code permeated Japanese society, influencing everything from politics to personal conduct. The samurai era was also a time of cultural blooming, particularly in religious and artistic spheres. Zen Buddhism, introduced from China in the 13th century, had a profound influence on Japanese culture. In the tranquil Zen gardens and minimalist architecture of the period, one can see the embodiment of Zen principles. The tea ceremony, a ritualized form of making and drinking tea, also owes much to Zen Buddhism. More than a simple pastime, it became a spiritual practice, reflecting the Zen ideals of mindfulness and simplicity. As we move forward to the 17th century, we enter the Edo period, a time of peace and stability. This period was marked by the flourishing of the arts and traditional crafts. Kabuki theater with its dramatic performances and elaborate costumes was the entertainment of the masses. Ukiyo-e art, with its depictions of everyday life and natural scenes, became popular. Haiku poetry, a form of verse with a strict syllable count, captured the beauty of fleeting moments. The art of ikebana or flower arranging and the tea ceremony became refined and codified during this time. The Edo period ended with the Meiji Restoration in the latter half of the 19th century, a period of rapid modernization and opening to the world. Western-style buildings sprouted up alongside traditional Japanese ones, and Western clothing became fashionable. The emperor, once a figurehead, became a symbol of Japan's modern identity. So, in summary, the samurai and their code of Bushido had a profound impact on Japanese society and culture, influencing everything from politics to personal conduct. Zen Buddhism shaped the arts and the tea ceremony, while the Edo period saw the flourishing of traditional arts and crafts. The Meiji Restoration marked a period of rapid modernization and opening to the world, resulting in a fusion of Western and traditional elements in Japanese culture. As we delve into Japanese history, we come to appreciate the intricate tapestry woven by the samurai, the artists, the poets, and the common people. A tapestry that continues to define Japan today. In the early years of the 20th century, a period of global tension was escalating, setting the stage for a conflict that would forever change the course of history, World War II. At the heart of the Pacific theater, Japan, an island nation with a rich cultural heritage, was emerging as a dominant military force. The country's leadership, fueled by a mix of nationalism and militarism, embarked on a path that would lead them, and the world, into a devastating war. During the war, Japan held an alliance with the Axis powers, which included Germany and Italy. This alliance was born out of mutual interests, strategic and political, that tied these nations together. Japan's military expansion across Asia, characterized by a string of victories, soon became a significant concern for the Allied forces. However, the tide of war shifted dramatically following the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, which led the United States to join the Allies. The subsequent years saw a series of brutal battles across the Pacific, culminating in the dropping of atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August of 1945. This unprecedented event marked the end of World War II, but it also began a new chapter in Japan's history. Post-war Japan was a nation in ruins. The devastation of the war had left its economy shattered and its cities reduced to rubble. However, beneath the ashes of defeat, the seeds of an extraordinary transformation were being sown. Japan embarked on a remarkable journey of recovery and reconstruction, driven by a collective determination to rebuild and renew. In the years following World War II, Japan experienced an economic miracle. 
Through a combination of hard work, strategic planning, and international support, the country quickly rebuilt its infrastructure and re-established its industries. By the 1960s, Japan had become the second largest economy in the world, a testament to its resilience and tenacity. But Japan's post-war transformation was not limited to its economy. The country also experienced a cultural renaissance, giving birth to a vibrant pop culture scene that has since captivated audiences worldwide. From anime and manga to J-pop and video games, Japanese pop culture has become a global phenomenon, a concept often referred to as Cool Japan. Parallel to this cultural revolution, Japan has also emerged as a global leader in technology and innovation. Japanese companies have been at the forefront of numerous technological advancements from robotics and electronics to automobiles and high-speed trains. The bustling streets of Tokyo, with their neon lights and futuristic architecture, have become a symbol of Japan's technological prowess and its vision for the future. In summary, the journey of Japan, from the devastation of World War II to becoming a global, cultural, and technological powerhouse, is a story of resilience, transformation, and innovation. It's a testament to the collective spirit of a nation that has managed to turn the ashes of its past into the building blocks of its future. It is a narrative that continues to unfold, shaping not just Japan, but the world at large. In the early dawn of the 20th century, Japan emerged as a formidable global power. Its military prowess and imperial ambitions, placing it among the world's leading nations. However, this ascent was not without its trials and tribulations, as the world would soon learn during the dark years of World War II. Japan's involvement in World War II was marked by a series of unprecedented events that would forever change the course of human history. Following the infamous attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, Japan found itself at war with the Allied Powers, a conflict that would last for four grueling years. This period was characterized by intense warfare, the horrors of which left indelible scars on the global consciousness. The war came to a cataclysmic end in 1945 with the dropping of atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, a moment that signaled not only Japan's defeat, but also the advent of a new era in warfare. The aftermath was a nation in ruins, its cities decimated, its people bereft. But out of the ashes of devastation, Japan began to rebuild. In the post-war years, the country embarked on a remarkable journey of reconstruction and recovery. With a resilience that was nothing short of inspirational, Japan transformed its war-torn landscapes into bustling metropolises, its economy rising from the ashes like a phoenix. By the 1960s, Japan had not only restored its infrastructure, but also emerged as an economic powerhouse. The country's rapid industrialization, fueled by technological innovation and a diligent workforce, led to what is often referred to as the Japanese economic miracle. From automobiles to electronics, Japanese products began to dominate the global market. However, Japan's resurgence was not limited to the economic sphere. The late 20th century saw the emergence of Cool Japan, a phenomenon that catapulted Japanese pop culture onto the global stage. From anime and manga to video games and J-pop music, Japanese cultural exports began to permeate every corner of the world. Today Japan stands as a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. From the throes of war to the pinnacle of technological prowess, from the ashes of destruction to the heights of cultural influence, Japan's journey is a narrative of resilience, innovation and transformation. In summary, this video delves into the complex history of Japan's involvement in World War II, its post-war reconstruction and economic recovery, highlighting how a nation rose from devastation to become an influential global player. The video also explores the cultural phenomenon of Cool Japan, showcasing how Japanese pop culture has become a powerful global force. The allure of Japanese culture, the mesmerizing interplay of ancient traditions and modern sensibilities, Today we embark on a journey, a tale of culture, tradition and culinary excellence. Close your eyes and imagine the vibrant energy of a Japanese festival. The Gion Matsuri, for instance, held annually in Kyoto, dates back to the 9th century. An intriguing spectacle of intricate floats and traditional music, it's a testament to the endurance of cultural traditions. Or consider the AWA Odori, the Dance of Fools, a summer dance festival that transforms the city of Tokushima into a rhythmic dance floor. The lively chant of, Fools dance and fools watch if both are fools, you might as well dance, fills the air, encapsulating the spirit of joy and unity.
And who can overlook the Nabuta Matsuri in Aomori, where the night sky is set ablaze by gigantic lantern floats, depicting Japanese mythological figures. These festivals, or Matsuri, are more than just celebrations. They're the heartbeat of Japanese communities, preserving cultural traditions and fostering a sense of unity. As we traverse through the seasons, Japanese culture unfolds its beauty even more. The Hanami, or cherry blossom viewing, marks the arrival of spring. Families and friends gather under the blooming sakura trees, a celebration of life's ephemeral nature. And then there's Obon, a festival honoring ancestral spirits, marked by floating lanterns that paint a serene picture on a summer's night. But what's a cultural journey without a taste of culinary delights? Japanese cuisine, with its aesthetic presentation and meticulous preparation, is an art form in itself. From the freshness of sushi to the warmth of a bowl of reimi, the flavors are as diverse as they are delightful. The multi-course kaiseki meal is a gastronomic ballet, harmonizing seasonal ingredients and cooking techniques. And let's not forget sake, the traditional Japanese rice wine. The brewing process, steeped in centuries-old traditions, is a testament to the Japanese pursuit of perfection. Tea in Japanese culture is not merely a beverage, it's a symbol of harmony, respect and tranquility, embodied in the ritualistic Japanese tea ceremony. The cultural ritual of dining in Japan extends beyond the food, it's about the experience, the ambience, the shared stories around the table. So, what are the threads that weave this tale of Japanese culture? It's the vibrant festivals, the seasonal celebrations, the enduring traditions, and the culinary delights. It's the sense of unity in Matsuri, the fleeting beauty of Hanami, the respect for ancestors in Obon, and the culinary artistry in sushi, ramen, and kaiseki. It's the art of sake brewing, and the tranquility of the tea ceremony. These are the elements that make the tapestry of Japanese culture so rich and intriguing. Each thread tells a story, and each story is a testament to the enduring allure of Japanese culture and traditions. So, next time you find yourself amidst the rhythmic dance of AWA Odori or savoring a piece of sushi, remember you're not just witnessing a festival or tasting a dish, you're experiencing a piece of Japan's cultural legacy. In the hushed tranquility of dawn, a blanket of mist shrouds the majestic Japanese Alps. The first rays of the sun pierce through casting a golden hue across the landscape. Nature awakens, and the air is filled with a chorus of chirping birds. Nearby, steam rises from the hot springs of Hakone, a testament to the island's volcanic activity that has shaped its terrain over millennia. This is Japan, a country where tradition and modernity converge and where nature is not just admired but revered. Here, outdoor traditions are a cherished part of life, the Japanese people celebrate the beauty of their land through various customs such as the Hanami, when families and friends gather beneath the blossoming cherry trees in spring. A sea of pink petals fluttering in the breeze, it's a spectacle that encapsulates the ephemeral beauty of life. Then there's hiking. More than just a recreational activity, it's a journey of self-discovery. Trails wind through lush forests leading to ancient shrines perched on mountaintops, and along the way, hikers are rewarded with breathtaking panoramic vistas. But perhaps the most healing tradition is that of onsen bathing. Immersing in the steaming mineral-rich waters under the open sky is not merely a physical cleanse, but a spiritual one, a moment of solitude and introspection amidst the natural world. These traditions spring from the Shinto belief in kami, the spirits that reside in nature. From the mightiest mountain peak to the humblest rock, every element of nature is believed to be imbued with life. This profound respect for nature is woven into the fabric of Japanese society. The Japanese language, with its intricate writing systems, mirrors this complexity and depth. Politeness isn't just a courtesy, it's an integral part of communication. The language is imbued with a level of respect that reflects the societal value of harmony, or wa. For those intrigued by this beautiful language, mastering a few basic phrases can be a gateway to understanding the culture. A simple arigatou, thank you, or ohayu gozaimasu, good morning, can go a long way in forging connections. So, as the sun sets over the Japanese landscape, painting the skies in hues of orange and pink, we are reminded of the harmony that exists between man and nature, tradition and modernity, 
language and communication. It's a harmony deeply rooted in respect and reverence, shaping the outdoor traditions, the language, and the very essence of Japanese culture. In the end, it's not just about admiring the beauty of a cherry blossom or the majesty of a mountain peak. It's about understanding the spirit that resides within them. It's about embracing the fleeting nature of life, the beauty of the moment, and the harmony that binds us all. Have you ever wondered how a country can be simultaneously steeped in rich ancient traditions while also being a beacon of futuristic innovation? Welcome to Japan, a land of intriguing contrasts, where the old and the new coexist in a harmonious dance. Picture a young woman in a vibrant kimono, a traditional Japanese garment checking her high-tech smartwatch, or an elderly man carefully tending to his bonsai tree under the shadow of Tokyo's towering skyscrapers. These scenes are not uncommon in Japan. They're a testament to the country's unique ability to blend tradition with innovation. Years ago, during a visit to Kyoto, I found myself in the heart of this fascinating blend. I remember strolling through the Arashiyama Bamboo Grove, an enchanting forest that seemed frozen in time. Yet, just a short distance away, I was sipping matcha in a sleek modern cafe ordering from a digital menu. But the coexistence of tradition and innovation isn't just evident in Japan's landscapes and cityscapes, it's deeply ingrained in the country's culture, too. In Tokyo, for instance, you'll find ancient martial arts dojos just a stone's throw from cutting-edge robotics labs. Harnessing this unique blend isn't always easy, but Japan has mastered it with an elegance that leaves one in awe. It's like a delicate dance, a balancing act that the country performs with grace and precision. Now, if you're considering a trip to Japan, there are a few things to keep in mind to truly appreciate this blend. Firstly, respect the culture. Japan is a country where etiquette matters. Whether it's bowing and greeting or removing your shoes before entering a home, these traditions are held dear. Navigating Japan can seem daunting with its intricate rail network and bustling city streets. But don't worry, the country boasts an efficient public transportation system that's punctual to the minute. And for those looking for a more leisurely pace, the rural landscapes of Tohoku offer serene vistas and a slower, more traditional way of life. Safety is paramount in Japan. Whether you're in the bustling metropolis of Tokyo or the quiet countryside of Hiroshima, you'll find a sense of security and orderliness that's comforting. As for must-visit destinations, Kyoto, with its historic temples and tea houses, is a must for any history buff. Hiroshima, a symbol of peace and resilience, offers poignant historical sites and delicious local cuisine. And of course, you can't miss the vibrant cherry blossom season in Tohoku. Exploring Japan is like stepping into a living tapestry of tradition and innovation. It's a journey through time, where centuries-old customs live side by side with futuristic advancements. So whether you're drawn to the tranquility of ancient temples or the buzz of high-tech cities, Japan offers a unique travel experience that's not to be missed. It's a place where the past meets the future, creating a captivating and harmonious blend that's unlike anywhere else in the world. Thank you for joining this journey through Japan, a country where tradition meets innovation. It's an unforgettable experience, one that leaves a lasting impression long after the journey ends.